Auto mechanics and determining your product's true cost. This is Ken Boyd. So I love my auto mechanic and I feel like I need to say that so he'll keep fixing my cars because once a consumer trusts an auto mechanic, you may do business there for years. I've done business with my auto mechanic for over a decade and actually maybe up to 20 years. It's a great repeat business model, but the situation has changed here in 2023. So what I've got here is a quote from the Wall Street Journal. Across the United States, there's a shortage in car parts that has collided with a dearth of service technicians. The result, more frustrated customers who are waiting longer to get their cars back and paying more for service. It's The backlog risk has created a drag on the economy. Higher repair costs mean that people have to cut spending elsewhere to pay for car repairs. So it's become a big issue if you're running an auto shop. And there's also a big accounting issue. You're paying higher costs for parts. Your labor costs are higher to get technicians to fix cars. Now, here's the problem. In the rush to be consumer demand, the owner may not know the true cost to provide the service or even if a particular repair is profitable. And when you're a business owner and you're in a hurry, you may not pause to think about these important considerations. So let's look at these accounting issues. How do I price a product? Product pricing may be the number one mistake in business. The price of your product must allow you to recover every cost you incur. And said another way, the only way you can cover all your costs is by charging a customer. You can't recover your cost unless every dime is recovered by handing somebody a bill. And if you don't pass along all your costs, to your customers are losing money. So in this environment, Shops have to price car repairs based on higher costs for labor and higher costs for parts, which is what the Wall Street Journal referred to. That also includes overhead costs, which is not mentioned directly in the article. So what about overhead costs? Overhead costs are the most difficult to assign, and some business owners have difficulty doing this at all. Overhead or indirect costs cannot be directly traced to a product or service. Insurance premiums and utility costs are two good examples. Also could be uh, other examples of overhead costs, rent, any fixed costs that you can't tie to a product or service that you sell. On the other hand, direct costs are easily traceable. So for example, if you make baseball gloves and you buy leather to make gloves, the cost of the letter can be traced to a particular baseball glove that you sell. It's easier. So how do you assign overhead costs? We use something called an activity level. So the logic here is that a business incurs costs based on activities, things that you do, such as labor hours worked, miles driven, units produced, also could be how long you run a piece of machinery. If your company didn't produce or sell anything during a particular month, the costs in theory would not be incurred. That's why we're trying to attach them to an activity level. Your next step in deciding on an activity level is what causes you to incur the cost? Now, sometimes it's obvious. The more miles you drive, the more costs you incur on a vehicle, for example, a truck or a car. Other connections may be harder. So what about utility costs for an office building? Well, you may allocate it based on the square footage of each company division that's in the building. Home office salaries for accounting, legal, and other areas that support production and sales, but aren't directly involved, you may allocate that based on the time that those people spend on a particular service product or product line. So if you produce a product that creates a lot of product liability, like ladders or a garbage disposal, you may assign a lot more legal cost to that product because it takes a lot more legal costs and time to protect yourself from product liability. So the bottom line here is that Product costing is an art, it's not an exact science, and you can use these tips to fully cost your product and generate a reasonable profit. Remember, for more information like this, you can go to Accounting Accidentally on Substack, accountingaccidentallysubstack.com. Thanks.